Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to understand one more important file that is validation scripts partial. This is a partial view which contains validation scripts. This is our ASP.NET Core MVC application. In this project structure, here we have views folder. If I expand views folder, here we have shared folder. Inside this shared folder, we have this validation scripts partial.cshtml. This is a partial view which has two script tag helpers. Here, this source property refers to actual file. First one is pointing to lib folder, inside which jQuery validation folder. Next, dist folder. Here we have www root folder. Inside this folder, we have lib folder. Inside this, we have jQuery validation. If you expand, here we have dist folder. Inside dist folder, we have jQuery validation.js. If you expand this one, jQuery.validate.min.js, we are referring to this file. And second script tag helper is referring to this unobtrusive JavaScript file. Again, here we have jQuery validation unobtrusive folder. Inside this, we have jQuery validation unobtrusive min.js. These jQuery files play a very important role in client side validation. Let's understand this in detail. Here we have view models folder. Inside this, we have tutorial view model. This view model has properties like ID, name, and description. Here we have specified validations using data annotation attributes. To this name property, we have specified different conditions like this must be text and this is binary tree field. Again, this description is required. In short, we have specified validation rules. After specifying validation rules, we are binding this tutorial view model to this create tutorial view, which is inside tutorial folder which is inside this views folder here we are binding this tutorial view model this create tutorial view has a form which creates new tutorial this form elements are inside this partial view by name tutorial form fields this is inside shared folder i'll open shared folder here we have tutorial form fields using tag helpers we are binding name property to this input element of this form we are binding this description to the second input element and next we have a submit button when we submit this form to the server model validation takes place but validation is going to happen at the server side which is called as server side validation we can avoid this round trip to the server using client side validation client side validation prevents form submission until the form is valid ASP.NET Code Framework lets us implement this client-side validation easily with these jQuery files. The only thing is to refer to these jQuery files in our application. Rest everything will be taken care by these files. We don't have to do anything. These files will consider these validation rules applied on these properties using data annotations. And the same validation rules are considered for client-side validation. In most of the cases, these validation scripts are called from layout file. Then all the views can take advantage of client-side validation. If you want client-side validation for a specific view instead of all the views, then you can remove these scripts from here. Then you can call this validation scripts partial from specific file. Let's say um, you want to validate only this create tutorial view. Then you can call this validation scripts partial, which is a partial view, only from this view file. I'll comment out these two lines. Let's come to this create tutorial view. And we can call this validation scripts partial like this. Inside this script section, we are calling this partial view using partial tag helper. This is our application. Just to verify client-side validation is happening, we are going to keep breakpoint inside create tutorial action method here we have a breakpoint now i'll call create tutorial action method here we have a form now i'll submit this form without entering any data this form is not submitted to the server because client-side validation was not successful 
If you want to know client side validation and server side validation in detail, then I have a video by name model validation. I'll keep link in the description. If you want, you can check that. In short, validation scripts partial is a partial view and this partial view has client side libraries. By calling this partial view, we can enable client side validation in specific view file. That's it for today's session. I hope the session was useful. See you soon in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.